Welcome to Bad Dog Comedy TV. It's live comedy on YouTube. And tonight you are watching Slumber Party with Ophira Kaloff. And if you thought I was not going to introduce your host, Ophira Kaloff, you'd be wrong. So please welcome to your screens, your host, Ophira Kaloff. It's me. I'm Ophira Kaloff, your host for the show. I'm Connor. Thank you so much for that introduction. Uh, and thank you so much to anybody tuning in. Uh, this show is Slumber Party. It is the show where we all get to hang out with blankets and on our couches, super cozy, uh, have snacks and chat and just, you know, have a breather on Tuesday nights. Um, so as, <laughs> as you for sure uh, know by now, my name is Ophira. Um, to give a short visual description of myself, I am a white, fat, uh, femme-presenting human. Uh, I have long, brown, curly hair on one side that is looking pretty, it's like curling pretty ringlety uh, today, and a shaved uh, side undercut on the other. I'm wearing turquoise thick-rimmed glasses that occasionally have both the computer light and a ring light reflected in them. So uh, it's quite, quite a journey going on there uh, with a white and navy blue neck brace. And I'm wearing a cozy knit bright purple sweater. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Uh, before, before we say anything else or do anything else, let's all take a moment just to acknowledge the lands and waterways uh, that we're each on today. Um, we're sort of gathered together in this virtual space, uh, but taking a moment to check in with ourselves. And uh, for me personally, I am currently in uh, Tokoronto, uh, which is the territory of many nations, both recorded and unrecorded, um, including the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe, including the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Wendat people. Um, and I just want to take a moment to truly thank uh, the caretakers and stewards of this land, past, present, and future, um, and really take a moment for us all to think about what we can do uh, to be better in our solidarity, um, whether that's learning and whether that's writing letters and activism. Uh, listening is so hugely important. Um, Right now, there is a course th available through through Coursera offered by the University of Alberta. That's a course in Indigenous competency. Uh, and if anyone has any questions about that, I'd be happy 
to uh, to chat. I've been taking the course. I'm halfway through, um, and would strongly recommend it. Um, okay, uh, I the show the show everybody. Uh, I am so excited to introduce you all to the special guest of this evening. Uh, this person. Honestly, you know when you just like meet someone in passing and you're like, mm, I think you're my kind of people. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're like, mm, I I like you. Um, that happened with this person in an audition room in uh, somewhere in the outskirts of Toronto. Um, they are a a brilliant actor and an even more brilliant human and I will just bring them on because it's time for you all to meet her. Welcome to our guest of the of the week, Alati Lawrence Moody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome. I'm just cracking up because I had intro music. <laughs> I've always wanted intro music just in life, generally. It just makes oh. me love. I mean, Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, bless you. Sorry, that's the dog. <laughs> that is Ruby, who has now fallen asleep and left. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, so honey. Uh, would you mind giving a visual description of yourself? Well, I am a white non-binary presenting person with my hair is long on the top and shaved on the sides i am wearing ridiculously oversized uh black rimmed glasses uh, and a pink unicorn onesie i will just put up the hood for those that can see it there we are i am here with my dog ruby who is small and scruffy and looks more like a meerkat than she does like a dog. And she is here with me and will probably join in for most most of the show today, won't you, Ruby? She is black and gray with a white patch on her tummy uh, and massively oversized eyes and a yellow tennis ball. I am wearing my black and orange headphones so I can actually hear what's going on. And I'm drinking an extremely large glass of white wine. Amazing. And that is us for today. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for well, joining me at the Thank party. you. Well, thank you for having us. It's very nice to be here. Okay. Before we get too far down uh, the party road, uh, for anyone who's watching, who's watched the show before, you know, uh, I I have some house rules. I just like to go over them at the start so that we all know what's going on and the the lay of the land per se. Um, so, uh, what, what do you feel like? Do you do you think that we're a good time for for some house rules? I I like rules. It, it's important to keep me within my bounds. As you know, <laughs> I have a habit of wandering. It's not ever reined in. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Then let us go to the house rules. Okay. Okay. So the first rule of the evening will probably be popping up on your screen. Yes, here it is. It is you do you. Truly, we'd love for you to engage with the show in whatever way it works best for you. Uh, part of that is great. We're in this online format. Everyone has their own device. Uh, feel free to turn the volume or brightness up or down on your computer. Come and go. Take us with you. Uh, have a snack or a drink. Turtle on your couch. Have a dance party. Uh, truly whatever you'd like. But also, please chat with us. Uh, there should be a chat function on your screen, either to the side or below this video. Uh, and feel free to ask us any questions, because, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're here for. Um, yeah, cool. So things that there will be, uh, integrated visual description. So that's what Vadi and I did uh, already, is giving a visual description of ourselves for anyone who is accessing the show just through listening to it. Um, and we'll continue to do that throughout the show as best we can. 
Um, there will also be an archived recording of the show with captions added, and so that will be available within around approximately a week, a week and a half from today. And that's the case with all of our shows. Um, there's, it's already popped up, uh, both of these things, uh, music and for sure silliness. Um, so be <laughs> prepared. Um, things that there won't be. There won't be any strobe effects, um, and that's, that's flashing, mm. sudden flashing lights. Um, and we will try to avoid sudden noises where possible. If I drop my water bottle, um, I will try to to give you a heads mm. up. Um, I'll try. We'll, we'll both try, uh, but there for sure won't be any like bangs that are, are programmed into this show. Um, mm. the, another thing to note is that this party has a schedule and it's my job to keep us on schedule. So we'll see how I do. Um, but we're already doing great on the first thing, introduction and house rules go team. Um, next up in the schedule is snacks and chats, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we will eat snacks and have the chats. Um, up next is the entertainment section of the show, which for this particular show, we are combining the entertainment section and, you know, that like 2 a.m.-esque activity when you're having a slumber party, you've had a lot of sugar, you may or may not have had other substances, and you're just a little... Uh, in that special slumber party feeling mm. of where, uh, you're a little silly. You're a little silly. Uh, and so <laughs> we're going to uh, combine those two before we say goodnight. And then everyone gets to curl up and go to sleep because by that point, it will be around 10 p.m. And it is a weeknight. It is a school night. And that is uh, that is what we'll be doing. Um, another thing to note is that this is a free party, but if you want to give a host gift, uh, you can check out the link right under this video. It's baddogtheater.com slash slumber party, and you can donate to help keep this and the other amazing shows on Bad Dog TV, uh, Bad Dog Comedy TV, uh, this YouTube channel running. Uh, and we would super appreciate it. And yeah, that's. That's the, those are the rules. That's the whole thing. Okay, uh, I can do that. <laughs> feel, feel I can try. Yeah? I think so. I can, I can be good. I can try. To, to be fair, the first rule was you do you. Uh, so. And I mean, no, I mean, the dog did just chase one of the cats right across the coffee table. So I can't guarantee there isn't going to be mayhem. Oh no, I'm so sad we missed it. <laughs> oh no, you're not. I have got the children out of the way. So fingers crossed, I cannot guarantee that there isn't going to be total carnage at some point, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just well, going to do a blanket apology in advance. I cannot, I mean, they say don't work with animals and children and I have both and I have got wine, so. I cannot promise, I'm just checking, but so far so good. I mean, I feel like the suspense has been so effective. It's gonna be right fine, now. we got this. <laughs> I'm so excited, I feel like I'm just watching the show. Uh, there, is, there, is, there is a fantastic element of danger. Everyone has been warned, it, or it could all go very sideways at any given moment. It's Chekhov's dog, cat, and wine. Dogs, cats, two children, a bottle two of children. wine. This could all go. I know I look really suspicious. And all, this could all go. It's a very fine balance. It could all go really wrong at any moment. The suspense well, is. <laughs> as I'm this is my life, though. I mean, fair. It seems kind of beautiful and magical, I have to say. <laughs> it does, it does. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> Your daughter is so lovely. Because we fed her first. Mm, fair. You know what? Same. I get hangry. I get it. 
Oh, and, and, and the timing is everything. It can all go so wrong so far. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We are <clears throat> we are already moving ahead of the game. So I think we should yes, just this is right okay. we need yes, we need to fill everybody else in <laughs> on the background to this whole situation. This whole thing. So I think to move into that, we should officially move into the next section. Yeah? Oh yeah. How All we right. met. Okay, so we're gonna tell you. We didn't meet like normal people meet. Not at all. This is not how normal friendships start. It was beautiful, <laughs> but it was not normal. It was not normal. Um, okay, we are going to transition then into snacks <laughs> and chats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're laughing and no one else knows why it's funny. So you should probably tell <laughs> We got it. We got it. We got to tell this. Uh, so we are like those two awful people at a party oh. where they go, uh, and then we just sit there and laugh for 45 minutes. And no one else knows what's going on. I've always wanted to be that person. I'm always the person who's like oh watching God. it from the outside. I just <laughs> realized we're the cool kids for the first time ever. We're the back of the school best kids. <gasps> Because, like, now, there's no way we're getting anywhere near the back of the bus. <laughs> Unless it has quite the ramp and railing. <laughs> no blue seats for us, lady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, this type in very oh, well. God, we're getting worse, because now... <laughs> now it's crocodile illness and disabled humor. <laughs> I know, funny. we haven't even disclosed that we're both disabled. <laughs> oh, yes, because that's like halfway through the story. Like, okay, right, so. Yeah. Okay, so. Beginning of the story, let's attempt a linear story. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we can do this. I, I believe, believe in you. I believe in you. Um, we can do it. Okay. I'm thinking <clears throat> it was a crisp, sunny day. It was. <laughs> um, it was. It was. It was. Right? Because no one yeah. had to help me get into proper pants. Yes. And uh, I was able to get onto a wheelchair accessible Uber without like going through rain or snow. I remember that. Yes. Um, we were both fairly presentable. Yes. We and both we were... had both been asked to go to a casting. Yes. Fairly normal in our industry. Mm hmm. Um, it was a casting only. For disabled people. Not as so we arrive <laughs> in our business. Not our <laughs> never happens. <laughs> and here's the really weird bit. When we got there, we could both get through the door. I mean not one door. Well, I remember there wasn't even one accessible entrance. There were two. No. Yes. Which yeah. is it was like yeah. a lift up garage door. It was like you could just like wander in with you your could arms go, <laughs> Which door do I want to go through? Oh, door number two, please. And we actually got, and there were other disabled people there. Yes, we went into which the was room. a shock to start with. We were all looking at each other, slightly concerned and confused, because for anyone that's not in our industry, you never. And I mean, never get more than one disabled person in a room at a time. Never. It happened to me once more. Ooh. I was on set and there was another disabled person there. And the look on his face and mine when we realized we were not the only one there was initially confusion. There was shock. There was alarm. We then had to wait because we didn't want it out the other one just in case no one else the other one like no one else knew for sure so i had to we had to wait till there was nobody else around there was hugging exchanging of phone numbers we went out that weekend we had pizza there was a lot of wine it was emotional it's only ever happened to me one other time i'm like we're like this now Ugh. it was it was a shock anyway there were other that's so oh, look, a cat. sorry there were other disabled people in yeah. the room we I have stopped. to say, it felt a little bit like a Black Mirror episode. I was like, what are what are we all doing here? Yes, because uh, all of us were looking at each other going. 
And they're trying to work out how outcrypt we were by each other. Yes! Okay. I looked at you and I was like, she's got a neck brace and an electric wheelchair. It's not looking good for me. And then that really hot dude came in who was a double leg amputee and was wearing shorts. Oh, my like, well, that's I was like, well, that's us two out the running. When he walked in, I was like, well, uh, there we go. That's me, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, come on. I only had a cane at the time. It wasn't looking good for me at all. I was like... <laughs> and then there was that really beautiful woman on the end who only had one arm. Yes. And no prosthetic. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of... Before the audition started, I was looking around. I was like, mm, I have a wheelchair. I came in feeling pretty confident that I... And I was like, mm. Mm, no, oh, I don't. Come on, I didn't. Oh, come on. I clearly didn't stand a chance. There was no <laughs> hope for me. I have all my limbs. Nothing, nothing bionic going on here at all. I mean, there's a lot of titanium, but unless we're going through an airport, it wasn't going to help. It's true. And titanium <laughs> doesn't even always pick up at the airport. I was so disappointed. No, I have a whole bunch. And yeah, they're just I, like, I oh, yeah. on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Literally, the only time I really have a problem is going through bookshops for some reason. Interesting. Weird, right? Anyway, sorry. So we're all in the room. Lots of hot disabled people. So attractive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was like, why isn't this the TV show? Like, I was like, seriously. So many dating options. Not appropriate. Anyway. (laughs) Moving along. <clears throat> you know anyway so i think that's partly why we immediately because both of us i think in our brains were just like oh we're not getting this so we may as well have fun oh clearly yes. wasn't wasn't gonna happen wasn't gonna happen <laughs> and i just had i already had the giggles because i'm got all of this going around in my brain you sat down and I'm, i was like yeah i think i like her <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I was just there for the snacks. Well, this is the thing. I think someone came out, or maybe you were the one who, who like, announced it. I forget. But, like, getting the information that as part of the audition, they were having us do... So, for a bit of context, this audition uh, was specifically looking for a disabled person to come in. And it was a, a campaign to show disabled people auditioning. So, very meta. Uh, and the idea was that we had to do a bunch of typical audition-y things. Um, and somehow the information came out, I don't remember exactly, that there were real donuts that we were going to have to bite into and then smile. The bite and smile. Um, and we both were so excited <laughs> about this news. <laughs> like, this was... We were like, what kind of donuts? Like, what What? what are they? Well, because actors we don't get to eat eating is not a thing actors do so by this point and it was going towards lunchtime at this point we're all starving we haven't eaten for three days we're all hungry the fact that not only were we going to get a bite of a donut you then got to take the donut with you yes and And if you screwed it up you might get two donuts two of anything you're a winner so we're calculating just how many donuts we can eat before leaving the audition (laughs) and I think the other people in the room because we were just like laughing way too much uh and then there were the other people in the room who were like you know being actors right they were like trying to get centered being prepared and you could tell that they kept kind of like looking (laughs) and maybe like smiling a bit uh but we're also like do not engage do not engage engage with the two crazy donut women in the corner Yes, who are basically just keep saying, we're just here for the donuts. I was very hungry. I wanted the donuts. Yeah. I mean. And they were really nice, too. Like, they didn't mess they around. Good quality Tim Hortons donuts. They were really uh, fresh. I was impressed by that. I was like. Mm. I was impressed, too, because how long. They'd clearly, no, they clearly ordered in and they had a lot of them. But they were not skimping on, on yes. quality or number. I was I mean, about that. That was, okay, I think that was my first, uh, 
like film and television and commercial like audition that I went to in person. I had done some self tapes before, and oh, I left. It never, it was never that good. Like, I have never been to one that good. Well, this is the well, thing. I like it was my first commercial audition, and it's like never been that good. No, and I've done them since. But I remember leaving, and I texted someone, being like. I could do this. Like this is this is great. Maybe I'll like try to do more. You, no, you were, we were and ruined. Were like, no, <laughs> no, never. commercial auditions suck. It's never that good. No, but but we met each other. This is true. We yeah. found we found each other. <laughs> we found each other and got really <laughs> emotional over donuts in a car park. It's true. Because then we found out that we are the same kind of bendy. Uh, yes, and there's not that many of us. There's so not that many. So we were like, okay, we're, we're basically related. Um, Clearly. <laughs> it, was, it was meant to be. It was. Okay, I also have to note, because this is the snacks and chats section, I just want to take a moment. Uh, I, I, have, I have snacks. Because we didn't get to go in at the same time, so I've actually never seen... Your bite and smile. <laughs> and I think this is something we need to share. I mean, it's an emotional <laughs> moment. I've never seen it. I am I'm holding a piece of a donut, <laughs> a Tim Hortons donut to be precise. <gasps> because, <laughs> fantastically, I now, because obviously all disabled people know each other. Yes. I actually now know the guy that got that commercial. Oh, yeah. Who got it? His name is George. Oh, I know George. George. George, you're beautiful. Oh, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know. can totally see why he got that. Uh, oh, yeah. Because he wasn't such an incredibly nice guy. I oh, hate I him because he. Yeah. A, it, don't you want to hate him, though? Oh, so badly. So he's badly. He's really talented. Yep. Super attractive. Stupidly beautiful. Mm hmm. And he's really nice. He's really nice. He's really truly nice, George. If you ever see this, uh, you're you're Damn really him though. <laughs> Why couldn't he be awful or something, and then we could hate him? I was really hoping he would be when I first met I him. Know. But... So was I, and I'm bitterly disappointed because actually, total sweetheart, and I really liked him. Just like super kind, super know, kind, right? <laughs> yeah, really yeah. kind, really helpful, really nice. Totally loved him. Yeah. Anyway. Very infuriating. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't look like he's ever eaten a donut, though. No. No, I don't think so. I don't know how that was believable. See, okay. No, totally <laughs> hasn't eaten a donut. Anyway, <laughs> be your right. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do the place. Okay. I must center myself as a, an actor. <laughs> um, the actor that I am. Eat the donut. So Feel. I think I took the first time a really big bite and then really regretted it. <laughs> then it out so I will uh, take a less uh, enthusiastic bite this time. I think I was like, ooh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Oh, wow. Oh. But oh, you're not, wow. it's an advert, you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> I definitely did the first time. <laughs> you see, I, I think it would have been fine, except it was like the sugar, and I've got an EDS thing, unbelievably mm. sensitive teeth. So I was actually racked with pain. I'm <laughs> going, oh, I thought I need a red canal. Why <laughs> can't I afford dentistry? I'm English. <laughs> oh, oh no. my my hip hurt. <laughs> it's the dominoes. The dominoes. I've totally forgotten about it until just then. <laughs> but I was trying to be really positive about the donut, but unfortunately, it hit that. <laughs> Oh, no. Did you tell them or did you just like fully? Well, no, what am I supposed to do? It's my first commercial casting. And I didn't think that that was the moment to get political and go, oh, but I really hope you're aware that 
95% of disabled people actually have really unfortunate dental issues. Yep, and like, well, we cannot do this. I'm going, yeah. No, not sure that's going to work out. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, my heat. Sorry, I'll just get my heat pad. <laughs> See, the, the disabled thing, like, came into an issue uh, for me, too. Oh, God. Oh, I'll just, reminds me, I'll have to tell you about what happened on the weekend. Oh, Ooh, yes. Okay, I, I will just, because <laughs> for me, I can't turn my head. And another one of the things we had to do was, like, hold a bottle of something. Oh, yeah, and then turn and the then, camera. Like, and like, and then, like, the the over my left shoulder since about 1983. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is the thing. So I'm wearing my neck brace, right? So let's say I'm trying to tilt my camera so I can have this in. So I say to them, I'm like, <laughs> I think we were joking about this before coming on. The line was something like 90% uh, of dermatologists recommend a vino or something like that. But you had to hold it. So I had it beside me and I was like, 90% of dermatologists recommend a vino. <laughs> <laughs> only moving basically my eyes and awkwardly oh, yeah. <laughs> and they oh, she... all laughed they were it was supposed to be serious and the whole room <laughs> oh I mean I'll we'll go back in a bit but the thing that I did on on Saturday that this lovely chap who was trying to set up the, the, the camp, and literally they asked me for a slate about 90 Honestly, I don't know how many times he asked me how tall I am. And after about the 15th time of telling him I'm five foot five, I didn't have the heart to tell him that it's completely irrelevant because I'm going to be sitting down the whole time. Okay, now in Because place. obviously it doesn't, have, it doesn't make a difference. Lost oh, you. No. Lottie's oh. frozen. Or I am. Oh, maybe we're are, back. But Cool. Ah, you're back. I lost it for a second. I was saying it's because it's obviously completely irrelevant that I'm five foot five because obviously I'm sitting down the whole time. <laughs> yes. I've I've started my slates now. I say like, hi, my name's Sophia mm. Kilov. I'm five foot four. Although in my wheelchair, I'm approximately four foot five inches. Anyways, am, uh, <laughs> I'm standing next to my four foot three daughter. She's like, and how tall are you? I'm five foot five. That's, I'm just, oh, I've just given up. I'm just like, yes, but sitting, uh, I am. Uh, uh, never mind. I missed a little oh bit of God, that. I I think, oh, okay. never mind. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> I uh, disagree. I'm going to assume it was legendary. Uh, <laughs> I, I think, I think, you know what? I think it had to be there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, I think okay. my internet's fine. All right, okay. I think I think nobody okay. move, nobody breathe. I don't know why I looked at the looked at the cat for that one. He's actually not him. <laughs> not Gabriel allowed. Allen. Gabriel Allen. Oh God, the look I'm just getting off him. He's like, I'm not doing anything. I'm a cat. <laughs> nope, he's fine. Right, we're good. <laughs> See, this is the beauty of uh, live shows online is uh, I, one time a guest came on and they froze and I just got to sing for a while. Uh, it was great. It was great. Oh God, it was please, <laughs> no, don't, whatever you do, don't freeze. Nobody <laughs> wants that to happen. If, I it happens, if it happens, I'm bringing out my brother's record of recordings. Ooh. Oh, no, he's he's brilliant. Um, but yeah, no, no, I think we're I'm just checking that nobody's appeared. No, I still have three cats and a dog. We're all fine. Right. Brilliant. <laughs> Don't worry, Connor, you're still okay. <laughs> I mean, you promised suspense at the beginning of the show, and I feel like, you know, we're like, we're delivering on this promise. Yes, I'm delivering on drama. <laughs> I do. I do want to say if uh, if anybody's watching and has any questions, feel free to type in. If you're watching, I, probably don't. I won't know the answer, but you can. Type oh, in. 
Yeah, we're for sure not experts uh, on, um, as you could see by my uh, nine out of 10 dermatologists recommended vino, um, not not a person <laughs> that is uh, trustworthy. As, as my children have discovered over the last eight years, don't know anything. But yeah, I mean, you can ask. It's probably not going to help. <laughs> you for sure can ask. You can, you know, say comments. Well, I'm just mildly can... alarmed by looking in the background of my own camera and realizing just how much weird stuff I have in my own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my son likes to tape stuff around stuff. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, having a gifted child is so much fun. <laughs> You know, I grew up, uh, my brother was gifted, uh, and I was like one point away from being classed as gifted, and it just chafed at me in my whole childhood. Like, I was so close, maybe I was just having a bad day. I mean, don't get me wrong, he is brilliant. He is brilliant. But it is quite stressful at times. No. He is wonderful and he is amazing, but he is also so gravy mad, <laughs> which is all it does run in the family as well. So, you know, but yeah. he is fabulous, he is fabulous, but it does mean we do live at a certain level of confusion and chaos most of the time because I never know what is something important, what isn't something important mm. because there will be things, places, and I do have to go, hey, is this a thing? Or is this just stuff? I don't know most of the time. So we just have to leave things. I go, go, is, because apparently, I don't know why having this piece of paper, for example, around the lights, which is important. It's been there now for about a year. It's important. I don't know why it's important, but it is. So we just have to leave it. So this is how we live. I mean, I'm and super curious. How how has that been, you know, living at a certain level of confusion and chaos, as you, uh, as you said? How how does that interact with the whole uh, global pandemic situation? <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> we don't have to go there. We don't have to go there. Um, yeah. When you have, okay, I think having one would have been manageable, but we actually have Two gifted children. You've met one of them. I have. Um, what we did do over the pandemic is we have a very, very small, well, say for women, it was actually a pretty decent club, but balcony. And a lovely friend of ours came over and spent, who is a, a wonderful carpenter and construction, and basically made that my space. Oh, nice. There is a lot of plants. There is a lot of stuff because if I don't have somewhere that I can be where they are not, I genuinely think I would have lost my marbles a long time ago. We have a lot of support. And yes, having gifted children is brilliant. But as my husband and I were saying to each other last night, it is not like the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Very they are in. They are in. It is incredibly hard work. It is very, very stressful. It's amazing. But it is exhausting. It is stressful. It is mind bending. And I know that my parents, because my parents had to go through it. So they are a great support. And there is great support from other parents. But I am <laughs> slightly on the edge a lot of the time. I would not change them for anything. Except occasionally. It would be nice to have a break. <laughs> My husband and I do say to each other, occasionally, why could they not have just been beautiful and a little bit stupid? <laughs> Sometimes I would love a break because you cannot, literally, I, I cannot just go out for the evening and just decompress. We can't do that. We have to just be here. It, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is very, 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 very stressful and exhausting. And I'm glad we have them. But yeah, it is not like TV at all. It would be lovely if it were. 
because then it would be unionized and you get lunch breaks. Union. <laughs> oh God, why is it? Um, no. Well, put it this way: my son had slept through the night, had slept longer than two hours once in his entire life, and he's nine. Oof. That's what people are. Well, yes, when people say, "What is it like to have a gifted child?" That is what it's like to have a gifted child. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Yeah. I'm slightly yeah, I was I was bonkers before. I am really, really bonkers now. And you've met the more normal one. <laughs> I mean <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I yeah you've, you've not met the other one yet. <laughs> I hope, I very much hope to, because, Yes, know. he's loved. Yeah. And then I feel really bad about the fact that I vent about <laughs> my show. I adore him. He is the sweetest, cuddliest, loveliest, sweetest human in the whole wide world, and I would never, ever, ever change anything about him. Ever. Yeah. He is mummy's little prince. I mean, it's so Oh, no, the only thing I would change, I'd change the sleeping thing. I would totally change the sleeping. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure that he would too. Oh like, yeah, he hates it. He, yeah. he, he cries because he wants to be asleep, but he can't because his brain is too busy. Oi, oi, oi! It's he's he's tired too. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I don't know. I so I I met you, and then I had the chance to meet uh, you and Matilda. <laughs> And I haven't gotten the chance to meet your whole family yet, but just like the like, like <sighs> opening, I just, I mean, I just love your family so much. Like, you're so wonderful. Wait, oh, wait till you meet the rest of them. I've got, <laughs> sib I've got siblings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am are the youngest. Here? Are they here? Like, are they no, in Toronto? Everyone else, no, everyone's in England. Oh. I'm I mean, the youngest. Wait till yeah. you meet the rest of them. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're in a, everyone's in the arts and everyone is, yeah. Ooh, okay. Speaking, speaking of the arts, because I'm keeping, I'm keeping one of my <laughs> reflected eyes uh, <laughs> because, wow, the lights are really, really having a time in my glasses frame. Um, I don't <laughs> So I keep doing that. So I keep distracting myself with Chinese. Like, ooh. Uh, for a visual description, we're moving our heads around as our computer screens and other lights. Uh, I know. It's, it's very kind of late 90s disco. <laughs> it's true. Because both of us are wearing extremely large glasses. Yeah, they're really taken over, like, a third to half. Mine, of mine. Okay, I'll take my mine. Are ridiculous. <laughs> and I now I, everyone I who doesn't I, require yeah. visual description has realised I have a face. <laughs> I Damn. did look like I look like I was wearing scuba diving goggles, like a full <laughs> face. I wasn't, in fact, wearing a COVID face shield. Those actually are my glasses. <laughs> but you know, maybe they hmm. uh, play double duty. Uh, and well, I think so. It's probably why I've remained so healthy. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Time, 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 time. Um, I, so for for the entertainment portion of tonight, if you're not thoroughly entertained already, uh, <laughs> everybody, yes, <laughs> we have a very uh, special special thing happening that is combining entertainment and silliness and movies uh, and the rest. And I will not give it away, but I think it's time for us to officially transition. Uh, yeah, feeling feeling transition-y? I am, oh, I'm always feeling transition-y. <laughs> Honestly, same. Uh, <laughs> We're ready, What's what are we doing? Well, let's first move into the entertainment section. <gasps> <laughs> we're here. We've arrived. Um, I think I think you were maybe gonna gonna maybe uh, pitch some oh, some no. movie ideas. Eh? How are you feeling? Let's do it. Well, I'm pretty sure our Connor is gonna go is gonna go a bundle on this because 
uh, oh, could it, it was back, I think, back in March that Hallmark finally announced that they were going to do LGBTQ Hallmark Christmas movies. Now, I think uh, for those of us that, that really didn't see this as much of a surprise, because given the amount, oh, given the amount of fairy lights and plaid involved in Hallmark Christmas movies, we kind of felt this was kind of a done deal anyway. But during COVID, I've been really impressed with the number of friends of mine who have, have really just kind of come out with little known talents we never really knew they had craft wise because i mean how um, how many movies can they make about baking competitions i mean how they must be like there's thousands of them so i've discovered i've got so many friends that have like really weird crafting talents and it's opened up this whole new area for me and i was sitting chatting with a friend of mine and we we're like oh my god we're a loss to the hallmark channel so we've started writing pitches for Hallmark Christmas movies, whereby we can employ all of our friends. So our current favorite involves a friend of ours who it turns out we never knew makes weird artisanal candles in his spare time. So, all right, okay, we're gonna pair up myself and a friend of mine who happens to foster cats, which is where we got our cat Muppet from. So, okay, so we're gonna cast me, and my friend Ali, and we're going to run a lovely little B&B &B in, you know, it, small town America because, so therefore we can have Matilda as our daughter because who else is gonna work with her, let's be honest. We're going to run the B&B. &B. Now, we're going to have my friend Larry, who has the best teeth you've ever seen. He's going to run the bakery, obviously, because you have to have a bakery. That's going to be fine. Then, my friend Josh, who is randomly really good at making candles, he will be coming through the small, said small town, on his way to save the family artisanal candle making business. This is all fine. Only, unexpectedly, because it always happens, his truck's gonna break down. Because of course. It, it does. There's gonna be a lot of fairy lights, a lot of plaid. I have an unnaturally large number of plaid shirts for really any human being, so we don't have to worry about wardrobe. We've got that. We have a lot of nice gentlemen leaning on farm equipment. I mean, come on, it was already set up for gay storylines. Anyway, we've got this covered. So at the last minute, the power goes out. Does he go to the world champion artisanal candle making competition? Or does he stay behind and use the candles to light the children's Christmas concert? What does he do now? Obviously, there can't be any kissing or any actual stuff because it's Hallmark. But, you know, there can be a lot of attractive small children candles a little bit of hand holding it's all going to be and literally we've realized that we can use that and just set it up for basically any weird talent that any of our friends have like we've got friends that paint rocks people that are good at pumpkin carving um, i've got a friend that can crochet pretty much any muppet in a really short time frame she did do dolly parton as well which is kind of fabulous so literally any friend you have with a weird crafting talent, we can work it into a Hallmark storyline. And that's the plan. Okay. That's pretty much all we've got at the moment. My mind Please. is blown. Pretty much. So what we need now is send us your friends with weird shit talents and we will work it into a Hallmark storyline. <laughs> It's an, okay, look, go with me. It's, it's, it's a niche market, but we think we can make it work on a very small budget <laughs> um, for pretty much anything. We reckon, regardless of talent or, or indeed lack thereof, 
Um, we reckon based on Larry's teeth, the number of cats we've got, and I've got a friend with the world's derpiest greyhound that has quite an extensive wardrobe. So we reckon, given that, we've we've got it covered. That's really all we've got at the moment. I mean, I feel like, first of all, you've unlocked the formula for all future Hallmark movies. Yeah, really, all you need is fairy lights. Yes. Plaid. For sure. Very good teeth. Mm -hmm. And an extremely niche crafting talent. <laughs> That's pretty much all you need. And and we've got it. It's very impressive. I also, I feel like you That's figured really out. <laughs> I, I was forced to watch an inordinately large amount of, of all that movies. My much loved and, and late mother-in-law was obsessed. She would start about this time, literally as soon as Halloween was done, Hallmark Christmas movie started. And I have, you know, like how they make bots watch a lot of stuff and then force them to write things? Yes. Uh, we've been married now for 11 years and <laughs> I have watched, she passed away last year, 10 years. I've been forced, I was forced to watch You have hours. become a bot. So I, I, I feel I'm ready. Yeah, you've received all <laughs> that you need to receive. Oh no, we lost you. Oh, oh no. no, you're back. Oh, fear. I, I am the Hallmark bot, and I feel that it's it's now my time. <laughs> I also, I think that there's an element <laughs> of, like, this can be done during COVID, right? Like, uh, movies everywhere are, are so stressed about, oh, yeah. about how they can film. And you've not only unlocked the formula artistically, but also logistically, I think. <laughs> Logistically, and I, I've got the people. I mean, as Larry pointed out, he paid a lot for those teeth, and we're we're ready. To, we're ready to go. We've got the cat. We've got the greyhound. We are ready to go now. Amazing. I mean, I just wish that I had a weird crafting talent. Um, I I think I think well, I, mean, I think if we advertise. Um, it, it, it's it, it's something that we could really put into motion. Yeah, I mean, not literally. <laughs> Send us your talents. Um, we can make you a star. Yes, to everyone uh, who's watching. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Don't, I, I know some people that can do some really it's like how do you realize you're good at that like do you wake up in the morning and go you know what i'm gonna do today i'm going to make an albatross out of moss like how do you decide you, how do you know you're good at that i mean that is incredible like seriously though what possesses people to discover they can do stuff like that? This is a good question. Now I'm wondering, I'm like, either I have not done enough self-exploration of just- No, 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 know. please, please don't. I, I love you. <laughs> I love you very much. You do not there, believe in me? <laughs> there are levels that I don't think anyone should discover. Mind you, my, my next door neighbor has taken to dancing in her garden dress as a moth. And I think there are some things none of us should ever find out. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the stuff I don't want to know about myself. <laughs> ever. And I don't think anybody else should either. But that, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I get a little bit of happiness just thinking, like, maybe I have, like, that I have no idea how this possibly could have popped into someone's head and what led I them to it. Genuinely, <laughs> fascinated by how yeah you realize that actually that is your calling and i'm like you know what if you think about it and you go for it hell yes do it yeah but how good did on that you. thought first occur to you and i mean i if find that's it your encouraging thing, <laughs> right like how holding on 
<laughs> this and if it did, you know what? Let's make a movie. I'm there. I am. I am supportive. Do it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Some of the things in this world. <laughs> I think it's kind of brilliant. And if we can market the shit out of it, let's do it. Capitalism. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Sometimes I think there shouldn't be a channel for that, but part of me is slightly fascinated that there probably is. There, I derive great comfort knowing that there are things that, that I will never understand all of the like wild things that exist in the world. I am world. really comfortable knowing that there's a lot of things in life I'm never going to see. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there, there are images I never, ever want to have. And they're there, you know, and like they may not be for me, but I, I'm very glad that they exist. And I'm like, you know what? If that makes you happy, and you're not hurting anybody, except you know, artistically, <laughs> everything's subjective. Uh, your art is beautiful. If you're an artist, we believe in you. <laughs> I'm sure 95% of dermatologists agree with you. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is also a thing. We're pretty much at the end of the show. Uh, so like... Yes, and I think before I get sued... Or... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we have reached the point of the slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should probably go to bed. Uh, <laughs> yes, the tearing eyed. Um, I think, yes, we've definitely hit the 2 a.m. moment, and it's, yes, yeah. it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Uh, and I this is why I think they were wise to not let us work together. You know what? I think someday <laughs> we will be on a set together and um, no work will, will get done and it will be somehow <laughs> there will be a lot of takes. Um, but oh, it would just be a terrible idea. <laughs> yes, I think the casting director that introduced us uh, has thought better of it and is, we shall hold him personally responsible for whatever comes after this. <laughs> he was very, very wise to never, ever put us in an audition room together again. I mean... <sighs> for the sake of humanity and art generally, I think it's probably a very good idea. It's true. You know, now that I'm remembering it, I do think we were loud enough to interrupt the auditions that were uh, happening. I do think someone had to come out and shut us. Um, I don't, and suggest that possibly it was a good idea for us to leave the building. Um, yes, yes, I think that was, yes, I think it was probably for the best. <laughs> but, uh, yes, if you ever see this, thank you very much for putting us in yes. the same place at the same time. Thank you. <laughs> because actually, no, actually, to, to their credit, actual art has occurred since then. We have worked together on other projects where actual yes. real real work has happened. It has, I mean, which it, is a testament to the fact that which, it certainly yes. can. Yes, we are. I mean, it did require several lunches first, but, you know, we have Nothing achieved proper time. things. It's, it's true. true. Marinating is always important. <laughs> Very essential. <clears throat> um, okay, okay. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call okay, it. Yes, good idea. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, is there anything? Thank you. Is there anything you want people to know? Anything you want to put out into the world? Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. And thank you very much for your beautiful introduction. My lovely husband and children are on behalf half God, I talk, half of Chaplow Pre First Nation and my lovely family thank you very much for that and it has been an absolute joy to be with you and thank you lovely Connor for putting up with us this evening you are yes. a lovely and patient gentleman and uh, yes 
thank you for having me this evening. It's been wonderful. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I wish I could. I think this you... might be one of the most fun slumber parties I've ever been to. <laughs> Win! I win! <laughs> With the cool kids! Yay! Cool kids! Cool kids. <laughs> Thank you for having me! Thank you Goodbye. for being Bye! Bye everyone! And, oh my goodness! Those, those are actually real children! Children! <laughs> there are okay, children say, in the all right, you made you made it into short. <laughs> say bye, Afira. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Thank you all.